Just how much are you paying to take the jitney? Well, depending on which bus you hop on, the fares may not all be the same. It's this mix-up that follows some months of conversation between officials, bus drivers, and franchise owners hoping for an increase in the rate. Here's Antoine Smith. It's an issue that left Sydney drivers split on the decision earlier this month. It cost me from 6 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. It cost me $120. That's just fuel. So you think we don't deserve an increase? With an early August press release handed down from the Ministry of Transport declaring its disapproval to an increase in bus fares. But just weeks later, it appears that some bus drivers have taken matters into their own hands, reportedly imposing a fee increase on riders, permission or not. I've spoken to our acting controller, Moxie, and um, the tribunal are hearing matters, so persons can go there and lodge um, complaints and provide um, the details of which bus it was because there should not be an increase in a At present, the going bus rate for an adult rider is $1.50. A fare bus drivers were hoping could be padded by at least 25 cents. It's a move Minister of Transport, the Honorable Jill Beth Colby Davis, maintains is not completely off the table, adding that it just requires some further conversation. It's been some time since they had an increase. We understand what they are going through and so we asked cabinet to consider an increase and cabinet did agree to consider an increase but there was some conditions we have to satisfy but those conditions are remain unclear but one thing is certain I have to have a little bit more conversations with the public and so we're going to plan a few public town hall meetings where we would discuss in depth transformation of our busing sector and then from there they will grant us an effective date for the inter increase to take effect. We reached out to Bahamas Unified Bus Drivers President Rudy Taylor who declined to comment on the matter. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Antoine Smith.